Hi everyone, my name is Dan. I'm here to show you my new uh, Resi uh, 250 Deluxe uh, reefer system uh, that I just recently got online. Uh, the uh, system itself uh, came on a pallet when it was delivered. It was like 400 pounds when uh, it arrived. So I had my friend help me lug this beast up like almost five flights of stairs because I live in the city. Uh, with no elevator in the building, so it's pretty heavy. Uh, the uh, tank came in one part, and then the stand came in another box, which uh, you can easily take pieces out because it came unassembled. And my roommate um, helped me assemble it. Uh, so uh, the reason why I show you this all set up because I wasn't gonna do a YouTube video which my roommate suggested at the beginning that I should just video when I first got everything from uh, FedEx and start the journey from there and after much thinking I decided that I'm just gonna see give this a try so this is my first YouTube video ever uh, that I'm making and I'm very very <laughs> shy so I'll be very giggly and pretty much nervous throughout this video, so I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, so what it is, is these, uh, the deluxe system comes with two hydro lights, uh, which is uh, uh, made for uh, live corals and sea anemones. Uh, so what it is, is the, uh, the, the stand itself comes in pieces that you have to assemble. Uh, my roommate and I took quite a bit of time because we would try to be super careful not to make any mistakes in doing it. Uh, and the directions comes in this paper format where it shows you just pictures and no words. So you had to guess you know, which screw goes into where and such. Uh, the tank itself has another manual here. Uh, I found the tank to be easy to easier to to put together uh, because it only has three pipes that you need to connect to the top there. Uh, but the one thing you need to be super careful with is, is not to loosen the top part when you try to install the, the bottom part because I did that. And as you can see from the salt residue here that when I put in the pump, the, here it started leaking here so we had to take out water and uh, retighten this to get it to work properly um, as you can see I'm a novice because uh, after setting this up uh, and looking at other people online you're supposed to cut this to to be straight to be like straight down to your pump rather than has this have this twist where it has to work more harder, so it'd be more efficient if, if you were to cut this. So, I uh, once I get more into it, I probably would do that. But since it's working now, I dare not touch it because <laughs> I'm afraid it might leak again. Um, and also, I have my heater here. Uh, this heater I reused from my freshwater tank that I had re uh, recently, uh, uh, previously, uh, which I gave away because um, uh, I decided to tackle on a saltwater tank. So this is my first time ever having a marine tank in no as a hobby uh, right here this part here uh, you're supposed to have a protein skimmer uh, which I order online and hopefully it will come tomorrow uh, so I can put it in and get this tank cycled properly uh, this tank has been uh, up and running thus far for about a week and a half I got the live rocks locally here and I'm planning to add a few more pounds here because uh, after getting 14 pounds, uh, so this uh, this uh, set here, one, two, three, four, five pieces here, it, uh, you know, weighs 14 pounds. And I, I'm gonna probably gonna get another like five or six pounds to extend here. I'll probably add another piece here. Uh, so it'll look better. Because <laughs> right now it looks kind of empty. And from looking at the, uh, tanks online they look pretty popular with with live rocks uh, but the other thing is I want more 
uh, swimming room for my fish so I'm probably not gonna add to the same thing that I've seen online um, so the tank like I said the stand uh, is pretty easy to assemble it just take a little time uh, the tank is pretty easy to, to assemble uh, but the main reason why I got this tank is because it looks super super uh, contemporary rather than you know, uh, the standard tanks that you get from Petco or PetSmart uh, that looks so ordinary. Uh, this matches the, my decor in my condo here in uh, the city and here the, the lights is what is really interesting. There's no buttons on the light so you can't turn on and off from here. Uh, these are just like brackets that, you know, to hold it up. So, so it, the stand comes, it's pretty secure. Uh, so what it is, is the light itself is Wi-Fi control and it connects to your router. And uh, it comes with the information for you to hook up. So what it is, is you have to download an app from Red Sea called uh, the AI. Let me unlock my phone here. I'm using my roommate's phone to do this video. So <laughs> I can show you the app. So I downloaded this app called My AI. So I press that. Oh, shit. Yeah, so what it is is uh, this uh, model comes with two lights and when you set it up, uh, you can name, you, first you, you, you set up the, the lights and then you can name your tank and my, I name my tank Atlantis. And it shows that there's two lights and uh, if you click on devices here it shows that one is the parent and one is the child uh, so that your app will control both simultaneously uh, so I'm going to go back to my dashboard and it shows my two lights so currently it's off uh, and it looks like that so if I press all on it's pretty instant so you can see how bright it is. Uh, and this spectrum, if I look at the controls here on my phone, it has different colors. So there's two, four, six, seven colors uh, that you control from. Like you, if you want to turn off uh, the, the violet, you, you just move this all the way to the end. If you want to turn off the royal, I guess, here. Uh, I don't know if you can, uh, let me put it up so you can see the difference. I'm going to put it back to the 100% almost. Uh, so you can see the difference. So I'm going to turn off the violet first and then turn off the royal, turn off the blue. Uh, you can see the changes from the background. I'm going to turn off the green. Now you can see that there's a different color. Turn off the deep red. Now it's white. I'm gonna turn off the cool white. Now it's just uh, UV, which is kind of purplish. As you can see there. So this one, I guess it controls, I don't know, I'm not, uh, this is my first time owning a marine tank. So I wanna learn more about it and hopefully I'll give you some tips on how to adjust this to the right level for, I guess it's to control lighting for different live corals as sea and enemies. Uh, and also you can actually have, um, I think if you go up to this corner, you can actually have a chart base rather than control base. So if you click on this again, go back to the control base. Um, like I said, this is my first time and I am like still doing research on what to put in here. Uh, so far I got a lot of tips from a local fish, pet shop here uh, on what kind of fish to put in. Uh, so uh, I found out that you can't just put any fish you like in here. You have to uh, get compatible fish so that they live harmoniously together or else they'll fight and then you just end up with a lot of dead fish and lose out a lot of money. Uh, so uh, if, you decide, if I decide to uh, make it into a true reefer tank, which will include live corals, and sea anemones, I can only limit, I'm um, limited to like a certain type of fish, but I'm, I'm into more uh, like aggressive fish that I can not have any of those because they'll eat them. And I also have to watch out on um, which fish to get if I have uh, reef, uh, live rocks, like live corals or, or sea anemone that 
they might in turn eat the fish. Uh, so it's kind of complicated. So I hope uh, my journey won't encounter many dead fish. <laughs> Hopefully I get the right fish so they can live together. And uh, I like watching them grow. So most likely I'll get them small and hopefully they grow to be adult size so I can record the, the progress and share with you guys. So uh, like I said, this is my first time uh, doing a YouTube video, so it's really weird. <laughs> and I hope you don't mind the <laughs> my inconsistency in uh, showing how to do this tank. But if you keep up with me, I'll show you uh, more about it and hopefully I'll get better at it and show you more tips on how to maintain and keep a healthy saltwater tank. Uh, like I said, tomorrow, hopefully I'll get my other equipments tomorrow and I'll, sh I'll do another video showing you that, no, showing what it, you what I got and uh, set it up and uh, hopefully you uh, watch my next video and, and then uh, in a few weeks I will have my first fish in there and uh, I'll show you guys on how that works. Thanks, have a good day, bye.